the amount of stories you can see at a given time. Yo, what's going on? This is Shang and this is Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory of uh, Powered by Dash Radio. I'm jumping on right now, waiting for all y'all to jump on, waiting for uh, uh, Pedro to jump on, a couple other people. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, we're jumping on, we're jumping on. And uh, we're going to talk about some of the shit that's going on right now. Obviously, the, the you know, our insecure ass, bitch ass uh, president is doing bitch ass things in a bitch ass way. So, um, so that's a lot of bitches in a row. Um, so we'll jump on and, uh, you know, Pedro will jump on and then, uh, we will get it going. We will get it going. Hey, there we are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is, dog. What's up, man? What's on going on? Again? I just, yeah, I was on this class. I was doing a, looking at this class, uh, for social media, for comedians through comics give back. And I was sitting there going, there only, there's only one app I didn't know about. I was like, I ain't learned shit. You already know. Yeah, I was you sitting there going. Know. Yeah, she said, no, there's no way you can post on Instagram and, 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 and you know, schedule it. I'm like, yes, you can. It was an app called Play Nolly, Plan Nolly, that you do it. And it, it's free. It'll post for a, for a month. And if you pay for the other one, it'll post whenever you want ahead of time so it's bullshit uh savage f uh now that he's on here i know he's driving we got to be careful but he will give you the rundown of what we're going to talk about and no not the rundown the run up and just let you know where you can check us out and find us so um so actually it, it's hard for me i don't know if you have the uh, one sheet in front of you it's hard for me uh to pull it from memory and i can't really pull it, it up right I, now okay. i know i, I know we're going to end the show talking about that platinum plan yeah. And, we, and we're going to start the show with a boycott, but give them the rest if you got it, Shang, man. Okay, I'll give it to you. What I'm doing to post it, let them know about where they can find us. To um... Um, besides, in my, besides in my car, you can find us uh, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify, uh, yes. if you want to listen to us. Uh, and that, that's for the podcast version. Savage AF is what you should be searching for. But... If you missed the video and you want to catch the and you want to see the faces and get the emotions and the whole experience of Savage AF, uh, you can catch us on the rewind on YouTube. Savage AF podcast is what you want to search for on YouTube. And then, of course, uh, if you want to see it, you know, all the way live, then we we right here on IG Monday through Friday, Mondays and Friday, right. 3 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Those are Pacific Standard Times because we on the left coast. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so it's also, the West. we're on the left, left coast. So we, it's also, it's already pent down there. Make sure you subscribe. Also, I'm going to give you the run up instead of the run down. First, we're going to talk about, about, the last thing we're going to talk about is the platinum plan. Platinum, platinum plan about Ice Cube, um, the whole controversy with Ice Cube and chasing the carrot. Okay. We're going to also talk about ride the wave. Second round of Corona. First round, they, they were hit to the body, but the second round was gonna be vicious. It's like a Mike Tyson fight. Doesn't really go that far into the fight. So it's gonna be, that's gonna be happening. We're gonna talk about that. The next question, ACB, which is Amy Cole, whatever. The, I'm gonna call Kobe her Barrett. Amy, yeah, Kobe Barrett, or Amy uh, won't answer a motherfucking question, Barrett. Um, right. hearing is uh, are over now. What? Well, we're gonna talk about that now. <laughs> this one is a uh, sassy pot, <laughs> sass pot, sass pot. The GOP sass senator sass. on the mic, uh, you know, uh, goes in heavy hard on Dumpty and 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 Christy. Um, Christy uh, wipes the Krispy creams from his mouth and says how wrong he was for not wearing a mask. So we're going to talk about that. That's in the daily run-up. And the first thing we're going to talk about is boycott NBC and do not watch uh, Dumpty, Dumpty, Pumpty, Fumpty, Fuckty tonight. So that's let's get into it right there. We're going to talk about that. Oh, my God, NBC, you silly motherfuckers. You couldn't have shown it no other day. You couldn't have shown it tomorrow, you bitches. Why or, don't you eat a bag of tax? Or follow up, like do it the hour, an hour afterwards or an hour before. But give the people to watch them in real time so it's not competing and you got to choose. Like that's some, And, you know, what? even even the, the cable uh, subsidiary MSNBC, like a lot of the 
anchors and, and reporters on there were complaining about this, you know, about their their parent company making a, a really bad decision here and playing right into uh, Trumpy Dumpty's hands. While, while I will say that Trumpy Dumpty is trying to set this up as some, you know, sham job that they're trying to pull on him and they're going to make him look bad and blah, blah, blah. You know, the reality is the American people lose out like this, right? Like we don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. We don't get to see them debate because Trumpy Dumpty punked out on the virtual joint, even though he, he's corona positive. And then they want to go with the competition. And, and this is totally on NBC. This is absolutely on NBC. Like, fuck them. This is some bullshit. I, I'm I'm not watching reruns of Heroes anymore. I don't need, I don't even watch NBC shows except for MSNBC. So, I yeah, fuck them. Right. Fuck them. All. I don't know, bro. Well, cool? yeah, of course. Before, of course, uh, Fox News is saying uh, Biden delivers a weak performance again. No, he didn't. He won the fucking debate. The debate was it was bullshit. Um, uh, but. Uh, you know, it's just same old, same old. But I, I, I mean, right now, just like the NFL pulled some goofy shit, um, I think NBC pulled some goofy shit. And now NBC got to get, they got to get the business. We got to be like, hey man, you, we ain't gonna watch this shit no more. Plus, you got a lot of whack shows on there anyway. And so, fuck y'all, fuck NBC. And it used to be called the No Brother Channel. That's what it was. And so it was the No Brother Channel. And so. It's going to go back to, at least for the people I know, I'm going to make sure that I let people know, it's going to be the No Brother channel because now I'm going to ask my brothers not to watch it, baby. <laughs> well, and, and, and that's, an, that's an important point, though, because when we when we talk about, and, you know, one of the things we were arguing about, about Ice Cube was um, sort of economic versus political power where, you know, I like to conflate the two and say that they're, they, they are um, mutually tied. But uh, the reality is, this is an area where we, especially as black people, but just as, a, as consumers in a capitalistic society, you can, you know, you can have power. We can have power as a people to, like, literally boycott NBC, not watch the Trumpy Dumpty shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that, that, that's where that power comes from. Don't watch NBC after this, you know what I mean? Like, well, I got some, I got some up-to-date uh, tweets, and it said that he, he – he basically did the same thing he did in the debate, but I mean, in the debate, but calmer. Um, he, they said he, it's it's he, over he, now. He, Somebody, uh, Lady Hazel, yeah, no, Lady underscore Hazel underscore May said Trump didn't answer the question about police reform. He is over. Joe is still on, and um, you know, oh, I, I think Eva's in the building. Is Eve in the building? I, I don't. I can't see. I there's a lot of information here, so I don't know. Eve, let me know you're in the building. If you are, what's up, Eve? Wanted to say, you know, Eve underscore um, app, Eve's Apple underscore seventy nine sixteen. That's uh, you know, she, she's handling our business and she's doing it right. So uh, thank you very much. We appreciate you. But um, yeah, the, I got text updates because I was actually in class, social media class, and um, they said he was he's still Nerd. a nutty buddy. Yeah, they said he was still a nutty buddy. What's going on, Abe? Hey, he said he was still a nutty buddy, so um, he's still doing the same old goofy shit, man. And they said Biden, Biden is, you know, Biden's not, he's not moving fast, but he's doing it. Oh, somebody said, um, Elaine K4 said, like bad sex, it is over before it begins. Oh, that's fucked yeah. up. There you go. So Sorry, I didn't. I, I didn't watch. I, I I didn't watch purposely. I know I'm going to see the highlights pretended to Biden and and Trump, which is oh wow. I was going to say the shit. AJ Fitz said the same shit. Uh, Trump um, on audio saying that he didn't like the fact he could be muted. Okay, yeah, because he because he got bitch like tendencies. Um, the the thing is, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Oh wait, we froze. Pedro. 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 Yeah, no, you froze for a second there. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. It's all good. Oh, okay. So, yo, uh, yo, make sure. Also, I, I got to say this again. All you people that's watching right now, we see a lot of people on the numbers. But make sure that you follow at Black Pedro. Stop playing. Don't be average. Be savage. Be savage. Because right now it's a savage time and it's a savage era. And you got to be savage. Stop playing. So make sure you follow him out there. Yeah, Pedro's out there. Yeah, Pedro's out there, and he's coming in. I can't think he's walking in, but, you know, and uh, right now, I just want to let y'all know that 
uh, I personally think that NBC needs a, a, a talking to. And I think that we should definitely keep that in mind, the fact that they did this on such short notice, three days notice, to put give Trump this platform was uh, obviously showing where the fuck they coming from. You, it basically shows you where you know, NBC is coming from by, by giving him this shit. And it was just like a rating, a quick rating grab. And they could have did it another way with a little bit more integrity. So, um, NBC, um, you can now suck a dick, suck a dick. And I don't mean in a sexy way. I'm talking about in a, Oh shit. I'm accidentally sucking a hobo dick. Like hobo dick probably is the worst smell in the world. And I want you to do that. But, um, Oh wow. Uh, AJ, AJ Fitz said 17 million, have voted and Biden ahead in the polls. Well, we'll see, man. I, you never know because there's so much cheating going on. We're gonna see what happens. I mean, Pedro, know if they are they are trying to really suppress the vote as desperately as I've ever seen them do. They on some other shit. So we know what the deal is. There he is. Um, is anybody else? You hear like some popping, cracking sound? Are we good? All right, there we go. There you go. You good? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah, I, I say NBC, we're going to go to the next topic, but I'm going to let you know something. NBC needs to get the business for this. Don't let them get away with this bullshit. It was obviously showing what they are. They're definitely not there. You know, there was no bipartisanship by making it at the same time. It was a fucking rating grab and seeing what they could do. What's up, uh, M.A. Melisk X? I hope I'm saying it right, baby. I, I apologize. I, you know, I'm on medication. I've been shooting up heroin into my booty cheek. So I'm a little crazy. Uh, yeah, uh, Miss Adverb, popping bottles. What's up, Miss Adverb, starting trouble? Uh, uh, Kane underscore Garlene, what up? What up? Uh, Janelle Paradise joined. What's going on, publicity man? Here we go. Here we go with this shit. Is it on? What they going to say? Damn, I have never seen a hey, nurse diagnose someone some over the television who is not their patient. Who you? Who the fuck are you talk about? There, there's some. Don't read that shit, man. If it don't make sense, don't read it. <laughs> uh, there's there's something uh, there's something crackling audio wise. I'm gonna jump off and jump back on. I don't know if it's me or you. No, I, 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 I can I'll hear you. Right I can hear you, but I don't hear any cracking. So just yeah, j I'll jump back on. Uh, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Make sure that you check us out on the podcast version of the show, which is iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Stop playing. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. And make sure you get on the YouTube. Go search new YouTube. Okay, search YouTube and look up. Look it up. It's you know what I'm saying. Savage AF Podcast. We need more subscribers. We need the shit to pop off just like it pops off on here. Yeah, so hit me. All right, so I just wanted to make sure y'all do that. How's it sound now, man? Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I, I, it might have been on your end where you, you know, you're just getting in there and settle down. Uh, but I, I, I do agree with Pedro pretending to they, have to, they have to pay for this misstep. It was it was obviously a misstep, and even their people, their own in people, on the inside was like, ah, we maybe we should have did this shit. People ain't looking at it in a cool way. You dirty motherfuckers, we know what it is. We already know what it is. You, you know don't make me is. come. Don't make me come in there. That's not like every father. Don't make me come in there. If I come in there, I swear to God. Um, and so so yeah, man. Speaking of knowing what it is. Right here, Savage AF. You know, we know what it is. But who also knows what it is, is, uh, and I think in the notes I put Utah, but it's Nebraska Senator uh, Ben Sass. Yes. Um, oh, went in, who, who went, in not, went in like it was, I thought he was part of the Savage crew, the way he I, went I, in. He was, I was not impressed with him at the uh, ACB um, confirmation hearings. Uh, he is part of the ju Judiciary Committee. Yeah, he started talking about baseball and all kind of dumb shit. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but and, and this also isn't impressive because he's caught on mic and, 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 and his office did confirm that it's him and it's authentic. But it's not like he was speaking to the American people. He was speaking to his constituents. Um, but he said things like uh, that Donald Trump has flirted with white supremacists, kisses dictators butts, um, spends too much money, uh, was really, really, really critical of him. Like, you know. Basically, calling him the ass knuckle bitch monkey that we do. Right. Just he said he's impulsive. A... He's just not right. Um, I, I, on and on and on. Everything we said on here, but in a a, a little bit cleaner way. Um, because we call him, you know, we call him fuck knuckle. Um, but uh, you know, 
he did say pretty much cover every aspect of the negativity of Trump, the man child shit, the, the, the pettiness of Trump. So it was interesting to hear a Republican actually say some real shit for a change, man. That's why they need us in the fucking office. You know, like the, the, the media need to have Savage AF be the people that ask the questions on anything like, hey, man. That, and that's how we'll start off. Every time we ask somebody, a politician or anything, it's like, first off, you're going to watch your tone when you talk to me. That's first off, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Republican. Secondly, um, if you don't tell the truth, I'm cutting you the fuck off right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. I catch you in one lie, listen, motherfucker, one lie, you might as well, you know, the next motherfucker's coming up. We got to do a backup dude in case you say some corny shit. You know what I'm saying? Noop. El Noop in the building, he's like, who said that? You missed it. In case you missed it, we're talking about uh, Nebraska Republican Senator Ben Sass, who was uh, yeah, very office. sassy. We got he was very sassy. He was sass mouthing uh, President Trump, saying that he um, flirts with white supremacists, kisses dictators' butts. Um, you know, basically saying true shit. Now, here's my criticism of Ben Sass: is why you want to play holier than thou Republican? at the ACB confirmation, but then be talking shit privately to your constituents about how fuck shit uh, Donald Trump is. Oh, yeah. He's a but you're going, along, you're going along with him the whole way. So I'm like, and also you, you're, not doing any, you're not doing anything to stop this motherfucker. You ain't part of some right. Senate committee to do anything to halt his actions. So sit back here and bitch up and complain all you want to and, and, and say real shit that we already know. But if you're right. not really speaking up on it in this public way, and I do appreciate their office. I mean, it's him on tape, so how are you going to deny it? I don't know. But at least they said, you know, confirmed it. Uh, so there's no doubt that he said it. Uh, well, he also but, said it because he's not he's not running again. So he's not like he's not it's not a factor of him running. So he feels like I, I have the freedom to say it to my constituents. But the bottom line is. OK, he bitched up when it came to that. He bitched up when it came to the impeachment and he rode along with these fucking. That's like riding in the truck with the motherfucker that chased the people down and hung them. I didn't hang them. Motherfucker, you was with them. OK, you was in the car. I saw your bitch ass in the back of the truck, but you didn't hang them. But you was with them. So, you know, what I'm saying if you condone pedophilia and, you know, condone a person that's a pedophile, that means you're down with pedophilia. I don't give a fuck. If you, if you can't say, oh, man, that ain't cool. Don't do no nasty, creepy shit like that. And you still hang out with that person and, you know, suck up to that person. Then you, you want that kind of shit to happen. So fuck him, feed him rocks and take, take him swimming. It's deep sea diving. Put a, put a rock around his neck and uh, throw him in the river. That's right. There you go. That, that's being said. So, you know, I, I would like, you know, and then I get the sense that, that these Ben Sass comments are how the Republic, how most GOP senators probably feel about Trumpy Dumpy at this point. But they, they don't have the balls, to be honest, to talk like that in a true public setting where, oh, it's not caught on the hot mic or, oh, it got leaked out that I said this. I, I mean, I need, right. you know, we need these motherfuckers banging in the streets. We needed y'all three, four years ago. Ben Sass does yeah, like to where was you at? He did. Yeah, he, ne him. he never endorsed Trump. He, he he was he endorsed other Republican candidates back in 2016, but um, you know he didn't endorse until he became the nominee. But uh, you know that being said, we we need motherfuckers with balls to step out in the in these streets and step out of line yeah. and say, "Yo, uh, that motherfucker crazy," because you know. It's one thing, okay, we got this audio, we hear this guy saying that, but, you know, it, it's, it's actually more powerful when Mitt Romney steps out and, and, and was more direct live, saying things to the American right. people. And, right? and, like, and he didn't, and, and Rip, even Mitt Romney flip-flops, so, you know, I mean, yeah. he can and eat his, it yeah. too. It's not, yeah, um, not but right now, I'm getting updates. Case. There's updates on Facebook and also on my phone. They said that Donald Trump basically says he knows nothing about uh, QAnon and won't denounce uh, the same shit won't denounce the same motherfuckers. So uh, basically, the people were saying, "I'm from the thing I'm looking at." It says it's basically the same old shit show going on as usual. He's talking the same shit. So uh, for all you motherfuckers that you know at NBC that thought that this was a good choice, look at what you did, bitches. In fact, if you are back in this motherfucker, you might have put another you know nail in his coffin. I hope so. I hope his coffin. Cause he lit, he definitely sleeps in a coffin, an orange coffin, by the way. 
Definitely. And it needs to be. It makes that noise too. Like, yeah. it's like you don't <laughs> put any oil on the hinges. How long has motherfucker been rusty like this? This, um, yeah. <laughs> so in, a, in addition, in addition to, in addition to Ben Sass, uh, um, you also have, in 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 contrast to to Trumpy Dumpty, uh, Chris Krispy Kreme <laughs> Christy. Yes, yeah, Krispy uh, Kreme, form, former governor of New Jersey. Um, part of Trump's prep team, even though he talked shit about him when he was running against him. Part of Trump's debate also, prep team. Al- yeah, and also uh, the person that was corrupt as fuck uh, and did uh, vendetta shit in New Jersey. I hate the fact people don't. It, it, Bridgegate. You know, he, yeah, Bridgegate, that he did, he did some vendetta shit because people didn't see it his way. So he's a fucking petulant man child, too. But, you know, he's a rotund, petulant. Man child, so fuck him too. But he makes, he when makes he got the out, out, yeah. But he got out the ICU and said, "Hey, this shit was fucked up. Yeah. I was he, wrong." He, uh, you know, he he does have the he does have a body that would make the Pillsbury Doughboy look ripped. Um, you know, I know I gained weight, but that nigga is built like he, a, he, a, he, a, he, a he he is Chris Chris Krispy Kreme. Yeah. That's why I call but him. But he no, he had he's to go there to when the I, ICU. When that hot and fresh light is on, he's there. But he was he was in ICU, so he's one of the Many people infected uh, at the White House. Um, yeah, sitting there with Trump as part of his prep team at the ACB um, announcement. You know, just part of the whole COVID spread party shit. Um, so he goes down, gets the COVID, Krispy Kreme, and ends up in, <laughs> I- ends up in ICU, glazed, glazed in the ICU for fucking. He got, he got glazed seven days, he- seven days, and now he has come out and he's like. I was wrong. I should have worn a mask. I shouldn't have gone to that party. I shouldn't have shook their hands. I shouldn't be eating so many donuts. Could you pass me some, some mayonnaise? Yeah. It's like, why, why was I back to these motherfuckers? I might go to hell. I can't. If there is a hell, I hope they got Krispy Kremes there. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I can't uh, say that. I was a gigantor, but I was never that big. I, cause I think because of my height. So, I mean, and you can still see my face and a neck. I still have a neck. I don't know how I still got one, but I do. But uh, um, it's just funny to me that now he's coming out with it and he had a total different reaction. Where was all of the fucking doctors that helped him with his COVID where he was in the ICU for a week? But the president was like, yeah, I had all these beautiful doctors and the da 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 It's like, yo, man, why don't you do that for your boy to help you prep for that fuck, fucking show you showed me, that shit show called a debate, you bitch. Yeah. The fuck out of here, man. No. I had no empathy for uh, when I found out he got the COVID, when Krispy Kreme got the donut. I was like, man, good for you. In fact, I hope one of the male nurses, you know, <laughs> violates you while you're in the hospital. That's, that's you know, that's fucked up. You're on a ventilator. It ain't shit you can do. And just sit there and move your eyes and blink like, oh, shit, this dude is violating me. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna take nah. that ventilator outside your mouth, and then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my dick in there. You have to breathe through the hole in my crispy. Dick. That's crispy. Krispy Kreme is like, uh, you know, he's a, he he's that kind of fat that it's hard to breathe himself. Like he he was close to the fire department having to come, and ain't no fire. They just coming to get you off of yourself. Like you, right. you got to call nine one. It's like, help, come get me off of me. My titties are on my face, you know what I mean? Like, so he was already there. And then, and then when you add the COVIDs to it, I know he was having, I know he was, I knew he was. But he still, but he still, even though he did talk shit about Trump, he didn't go like sassy, sassy, sassy mouth. He he actually didn't talk shit about Trump, Christy, Christy. Right, right. He uh, he just talked about it, about his experience that he was wrong. And and you know that, but, but that is in contrast to Trumpy Dumpty, who, you know, got the virus and was like, I'm strong. He's like, ah, drugs, baby. It's yeah. the answer. Oh, yo, Chip, trip this out. Chip this out. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling like I'm 20 again. Oh, who wants to wrestle? Huh? Yeah, he, he ah, absolutely did the shit. shit. But this is the wild shit about it. But this is what Trump wanted to do. He wanted to actually act like he was under the weather and then walk up to the, the steps and then act like he was really sick and stand up straight and opened his shirt and had a Superman shirt underneath. Yeah, he wanted to do that. That's what he originally wanted to do. Think about how crazy that is from a fucking president. Ah, Superman. I'm strong, motherfuckers. Who wants to wrestle? Yeah, it was just, um, 
So it, that's a that's a stark contrast to Krispy Kreme. Uh, yes, and Miss Averb, I agree. Chris, Krispy Kreme's uh, man titties are probably filled with that donut glaze. Um, but it is in stark contrast to Krispy Kreme coming out and be like, <sighs> "That was rough." <laughs> I should have no, yeah, he, and he's gonna. Uh, they said he still has. He still, even though he's out. He's still going to have a lot of uh, respiratory problems. And um, there's the different things that hit you where your smell goes away, your taste goes away. And he said, just, I don't care if my br lungs don't move like they used to, but I just <laughs> hope that my taste comes back. That's all I need, brother. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> I know so that that's the one thing he's like. Does this ventilator make me look fat? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, he had he snorts donut powder. That's fucked up. Um, but yo, Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I know I say it throughout the show, but we got to keep you on it. We got to keep y'all honest. All right. So I saw a couple people subscribe. Go to YouTube and subscribe to the channel. All right. It is Savage AF Podcast. Just search Savage AF Podcast and make sure you follow at Black Pedro. You understand me? That's what it is. You understand, That's what it is, yo. you understand what the fuck I'm saying? I think you do. I think you do. Get it, got it you know? good. All right, John. You know? So let's get into the inevitable. <laughs> dun, ACB. Dun, dun. Like we said, she ACB is your new Supreme Court justice. Ain't that, yeah. And they and, found and some, really not they qualified. Found new, they found some new stuff that she didn't put on her calendar, some other speeches. I, none of that's gonna stop it. It don't matter, right? But whatever. Put up your fight, Democrats, do it. Uh, but she is going to be your next Supreme Court justice. So uh, the, the, today, the her confirmation hearings ended. So they're through that process. And with that in mind, some of y'all might be wondering, I was too, like, what's next? You know what I mean? Like, what 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 happens now? They, they've been through all the questions that were pointless that she didn't answer. Repu you know, Republicans uh, basically set her up to win. Uh, oh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna slam dunk her too, yeah. Democrats trying to poke holes in her armor. Um, but, they're, they're, you know, there was no real um, vantage point for them to, to gain. So what, what now? Uh, so it actually goes to a committee vote on October 22nd. So what is that? A week from today. So a week from today, they're the same 22 senators that have been um, questioning her the past few days are going to actually take their vote. Wonder how that's going to turn out. <laughs> uh, but that's going to go uh, their way. She'll get through. Then, um, but, but you know what? But I think that it's good. What they did do good, and I thought that what I thought, uh, Miss Harris, if you're nasty, Kamala. And I thought that um, what they did do is expose some of her bullshit. Even though one of the top Democrats started licking fucking Lindsey Graham's asshole as he was walking away. I was like, what the fuck you talking about, you 94-year-old crazy-ass lady? First off, you don't need to beat her anymore. Like, I know this sounds fucked up as, a, you know, I'm not dissing older people. When you're 94, um, you're just not going to be as sharp. I don't give a fuck. And she shouldn't have even been sitting there. She should, It should be like, this should be a cutoff. Look, even with the presidency, you're 85. Maybe you Cut shouldn't be doing it. Cut it out. Cut it out. Maybe you should Cut just go out. relax. You've been in Congress for 945 years. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you should, you know, you help them build the pyramids. Maybe yeah. you shouldn't be here. Yeah. yeah. Um, then, uh, okay, uh, here goes. So, ben Yusuf said that, that the Democrats are some suckers. They are, they are soft like pudding sometimes. They mad yogurty. They got a lot of yogurt pumping through their veins sometime. I think they need to go harder in the paint. But they're they're not as evil and diabolical with a proven track record, Ben Yusuf. A proven track record of evil and racism much more than I mean than the Democrats, even though the Democrats started off kind of being the racist fucking party. But they, they actually did. sifted that away and now no, it is definitely the Republicans. This, don't give me that bullshit false equivalency shit either. Because if you're going to do that, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to get on a really steep fucking steps on a bike and then hit the brakes real hard. Once you hit the brakes real hard, you're probably going to flip over and go down the steps. That's what I oh, want. Well. All right. <laughs> so on, the, on, this, vote up, on the, this vote on the 22nd, the only thing the Democrats could do would be a symbolic uh, boycotting of it and not show up to vote. But that, that, that's not going to stop them because if all 12 uh, Republicans show up, then um, they can go right. ahead anyways. Fuck y'all. We don't need you Unless anyway. some Republicans, so, uh, uh, like, like say some Republicans last minute 
Because you look at, um, you know, last minute, give the thumbs down, like, nah, nah, this bitch ain't right. And just do that. And it's like, oh, it's all you interchange. All oh, you right. interchange. And then yeah. run out. Like, just run out. That ain't going to happen. Um, so then after the 22nd, um, the, ne the following week, just, uh, I believe a week before the, the actual uh, election on November 3rd, on October 26th, um, the, the entire Senate will vote on that. And, and the Senate, the Republicans have a 53-47 advantage uh, in the Senate. So, you know, unless they can get, like, I think four uh, senators Right, to unless they change. can get four Republicans. But there's some Republicans that actually, believe it or not, actually found a fucking moral center. Finally, you silly bitches. Um, they said if they... If, if we uh, get four of them, then she won't get, you know, she won't be a Supreme Court justice for eternity. I never understood that. The fuck you get a job for eternity? What if you start doing crazy shit? Ah, you're still allowed to work here. That's the most dumb shit. Also, the Electoral College is the most dumb shit. Dummy, dumb shit. Wait a minute. I got 900 million more votes than you, and you got two more people than me, and muskrat sucks through Wisconsin, and you're the president now? Oh, that's some bullshit. They, now, if Biden and, and Kamala get in there, they need to make sure that people don't have to stand in line for 15 fucking hours to vote. Change up that shit, and they need to change up Electoral College. That is that bullshit right there. It's based on some fucking slavery shit, and they know it. And if you don't know it, uh, you know, all the people that always come out here, uh, you know, check, look it up. Oh, by the way, Pedro got a, a long fucking novel on how we're children and we're emotional and we bitches and all this other stuff from some parts. And, and then they put Trump 2020. Did they did they hit you in, on your page or they just, oh, wow. So they hit me. I, I mean, I, I miss, oh, you can miss me with all that shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm baby. Of course I told him. I told him. I, I told him. I don't I even know why you too. replied to that shit. I don't know why you replied to any of I just, that said, I just said, say something <laughs> venomous back. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to, like, you know, it's basically, you ain't no, going to smack me with your no. bullshit. I'm going to smack you with my bullshit. No, I'll leave it alone. Uh, so. Terry Clark. After, What's up, after, Terry Clark? After the Senate votes, um, on the 26th, and we know they're going to confirm her. Uh, right. You get to the swearing in. And, like, with Kavanaugh, they were able to swear him in. Like, they were in the middle of the session, so they, they literally sweared him in, like, swore him in, uh, like, hours after he was confirmed. So um, I assume that they, they would move pretty quickly to confirm her, right. especially since uh, there is a vote on the Affordable Care Act a week after the election. Um, and she should be confirmed about a week before the election. Right. So, and, but, and then guess what? And then November 10th is when they're going to do a discussion pertaining to the Affordable Care Act. And then I'm telling you, very shortly after that, there's going to be something that's going to come up with an argument pertaining to Roe versus Wade and overturning it or making it more difficult for you women to be able to get not only, you know, health care when it comes to your little lady parts, but much more difficult to get hide, an abortion. Hide your yeah. vagina, ladies. Hide your vagina because they're coming. I'm trying to they're tell coming you. from the hills. They're coming from the fields. They're coming yep. from the valley to get yep. your cooch, okay? Right. Cooch is endangered species, ladies, and they want to shut it down. They want to close They want to tell you what to do with your cooch and when to do with it, okay? If you got a cooch out there that you think is a free Roman cooch, that it's a cooch to free to whatever to do what it want, not at all. Because you know why? Because there'll be some people on the Supreme Court, there's right wing people that's going to tell you, you this is what you're going to do with your cooch. You know what you're going to do? You're going to do what we tell you to do, goddammit. Fuck that's you. Right. That's right. And if we have it our way, we never open coochie again, okay? Except God damn it, for, coochie's closed for business. Except for cherub like angelic Christian babies. <laughs> That's what Coochie's for. That's what Coochie's for. Just for people who, we want the babies to be here, but we just don't want to feed them or treat them fairly. Not our job. We just Not our keep, job. We are keep, just more keepers people of the on gate. Earth. Keepers but we don't want to get into that debate because then we'll get it, the whole, the show turned into some shit where they said, do you, believe in, do you believe in abortion and women should have a right to abortion? I'm really not the motherfucker okay. to ask that shit because guess what? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> don't get him started. All right, well, don't you open, get me started. 
speaking of opening the gates, though, uh, you know, we never we never closed it down on this uh, coronavirus spread here in the United States. We never closed the gate on it. Savage AF, by the way, brought to you by Laugh Factory Radio. Um, but he, he, here's the thing. We are we are looking at now going into the fall, exactly all the bad things that Dr. Fauci and Burks and anybody that you should have listened right. to talked about. And we are seeing a spike, second wave, a whole nother thing of cases. Right. right? So um, 21 states are now on the rise again. And there are a lot of these northern states, you know what I mean? And that Midwest, the, oh, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. Like that, that <laughs> old, that old. <laughs> when did you learn that song, Pedro? Uh, probably uh, preschool or some shit. Kindergarten. Shit, I can't. I, I've heard it on movies, but I, that's the only part I heard. But I didn't even know it was where the antelopes play. Yeah, really. Man. You got a lot of listen. If you can sit and watch antelope play, you ain't got shit to do. But you ain't got nothing to do. You ain't racist. never had no pussy. Yeah, if you, 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 you are not. If you a dude your life. and you like, what you do yesterday? I, uh, you know, hung out with this chick, went to get some wine. What you do, nigga? I watched the antelopes play. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Did they win? <laughs> I yeah. couldn't tell. I couldn't, I couldn't tell. tell. I just watched them. They ran Nobody up the hill, ran back down the hill. Nobody ran up the hill. Score. It was crazy. It was just crazy. Um, but <laughs> we, we are getting this wave in, in these places, these places where, hmm, coincidentally, Trumpy Dumpty is having rallies. You know, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, just showing up in states right. that uh, are Florida. having trouble. Florida. States that Flirter. are having trouble, and uh, and he don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. He's like, I gave this shit to my son. You don't think I'll give it to you, motherfucker? I cough. You're right. I lick every fucking nostril in this bitch. You know I, I mean? kiss like, all you know, of you. I couldn't believe you said I'll come out there. I feel so great. I'll come out there. I'll kiss all of you. The I'll kiss the guys. I'll kiss the girls. I'll kiss Putin's ass. I know what it tastes like. I've been there. I've done that. I like it. Mmm. Tasty Putin ass. Which actually sounds even more disgusting now that I said it. Tasty Putin ass. Yeah, and this is how. Um, this is why we got to watch the the comment section sometimes, Shane, because somehow Eve got into chopping white penises off, and now she's got a slogan: turning penises into penises since 2020, bitch. Put that on the shirt and sell that motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Eve under. Yeah, Apple maybe we should. No, so. yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Yeah. We got to watch y'all because y'all be. Y'all disintegrate quickly into dick chopping and uh, yeah, <laughs> it'd be all kind of <laughs> shit. You, you know what? Kicking? I'm gonna take a pool cue and I'm gonna play pool with your balls. I'm gonna hit hit the one ball to the other side and the other ball to the other side. Yo, I mean, sorry. we got a vicious ass. We got a vicious ass crew of motherfuckers that listen to Savage Air. They will, and they God will damn it, we appreciate you. They will cornhole a midget into a trunk, into a car trunk. Right? Yeah, That's we already know AJ Fifth is the is the midget punter king. You know what? I know the record. I think the record was held initially um, by uh, Kimbo Slice. But yeah. now I got to go with AJ Fit when it comes to kicking midgets a far distance, which, you know, we're going to get in trouble with for saying that. With accuracy into a term. Right. And all the people that are midgets that listen to a, a Savage AF, we're joking. We don't really condone midget kicking. Yeah. Or typically but, the use of the word midget, but fuck it. This is a show yeah, called Savage but, AF. Yeah, you know what kills me? People feelings. say you can't use midget. And then I saw a midget call somebody a nigger. So I'm like, hey, man, if you if you, if you if you tall enough to say that shit, you tall enough to get kicked in the stomach and get put in the trunk. Until, until y'all silence mini Hitler, then, uh, you know, we're going to be out here. How could um, you, yeah, how could you even not? This is the thing I want to ask about this. But the second wave round coming up. How could you not see that it's specifically in those different places in the country where you did everything wrong and you listened to everything Trump said? This motherfucker just recently said that 85% of the people in the world and in America are immune. And if you've had it, you are now immune. Every yeah. There were scientists that actually pulled their shirts off, start screaming, and saying, no, motherfucker, that's not how it works. He said, It's uh, like, you don't need a mask. Masks aren't good. They make me, I don't like the way they make me look. 
it's not about the way you make you look, motherfucker. It's about keeping people safe. And apparently you didn't give a fuck about that because look what he did to his staff. I, I, wasn't it like nine people? I don't know. I mean, was it nine people around him got it after they got tested? It was like, oh, shit. And who do you think it came from? Oh, yeah, I think it, it, I mean, it jumped past Was it nine? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was, it was nine. 13, Anybody, it was if I'm 13, wrong. It was 13 directly, and then um, I think it branched out to more cases from them. But directly, I believe 13 people around him uh, uh, caught that, that bug there. Damn. Um, as a result of a lack of giving a fuck. Um, but, you know. Wow, I mean, they are going in on the feed, man. Uh, uh, it's like people's, yeah. Yeah, it's the, the ugliest nigga in the room. God damn, y'all, y'all, what's up? Um, oh, yo, we got yo, my man's, my man's is on here on the feed. Comedian Reggie Williams, what up? We did uh, comics uncensored with uh, uh, L, and uh, we also with Black Rob, uh, Black Ron, not Black Rob. Black Rob's a rapper. Black Ron is a comedian. So, uh, what's up, man? Hope you're doing good, man. What's, what's happening? What's right. hey, what's cracking? <laughs> right. What? Well, so speaking of what's cracking. Uh, but, oh, as we get, as we get off this cube, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I want to revisit our our ice cube conversation from yesterday because um, I think like most of y'all, we were listening to him talk about this for the first time. Uh, this being Ice Cube talking about advising uh, the Trumpy Dumpty administration on specifically something called the Platinum Plan. Okay, so I, right. I spent a little bit of time today just. Just looking into that and, and what it is exactly. And essentially, um, about a month ago or so, Trumpy Dumpty came out with this platinum plan, which I, until Ice Cube said something, I heard nothing about. I had it heard seems about like, it. It seems like if you, and so I'm not saying it, it wasn't, but it seems like if you have this big platinum plan to turn black people's lives around in America, I mean, I feel like, especially in a time of Black Lives Matter, when you're calling Black Lives Matter a terrorist organization, that this might well, be yeah, a great When you're yelling great people that that's my African-American, you when you're actually that. shouting out the Proud Boys or well, Proud this Bitches. A, this would be a great time to uh, turn that image around and, and be like, but look, I've got this money. What, what I want to say is, okay, I get it. From, from Ice Cube's perspective, as he put it, he reached out. He has the CWBA, the contract with Black America. He reached out to both campaigns. Biden's were like, we'll get, you, we'll get to this after the election. Trump right. was like, I'll be right there. Okay. I, I am going to go ahead and call that suspect, right? And what I would like... <laughs> I'm going like, to call that foul. What yeah. I would like to do is, is have Ice Cube consider why two, a month and a half, two months before the election... Trumpy Dumpty all of a sudden has this big plan to put money on the table, and, and it's $500 billion is, is an earmarked sum by Republicans um, for this. Um, this could have been done all along, right? Like, this could have, if he oh, wanted yeah. to put $500 billion on the table, he could have done this way before the election in which your GOP is fighting to get. Kanye West on tickets just to dilute votes, right? <laughs> and he's no actually getting sense. votes, which is sad. It's no Kanye West sense, is right? getting his votes. But, uh, but they do that. Maybe. And then we're supposed to believe that, oh, you've got this money set aside for us, uh, which, which, by the way, is, is supposed to um, infuse money into black businesses and create, you know, basically black Wall Streets again. Um, but that, you know, that's, it's supposed to occur over the next four years, right? Which he would need to get reelected in, in order to for that to happen, right? So right before the election, you say, "I've got a four year plan to save all you niggas. All you got to do is vote for me. <laughs> I promise, I got five hundred billion dollars for you. Just, I just it's going to take four years. So I got to. If I'm not here, then if I'm not here, how can I do that? So come I, on, that, 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 that's why I'm calling uh. it a dangling carrot, right? Like it's something that he's waving in front of Ice Cube and Black America to say, "No, but look, I got all this money." So but vote for me, guys, right? Over the next four years, just you know, I need four more years to do it. So, is it? Is it? So, if, if you're not reading the game like that, I, like that's just the way I got to read that. You know what I'm saying? Oh it's no, like, no, you're absolutely right. The timing and, of and, it and, is and why would he, of all people, Trump come to the nigga you love to hate? Fuck you, Ice Cube. Why would he come to him 
And why would Ice Cube even accept that after well, all no, of the no, fucking derogatory shit them. he said? No, no, Ice Cube reached out to them. They I know, but why, why would he reach out to them? For what? You obviously saw that this motherfucker is a pathological liar. He, he said we cannot afford to to we can't. He's, he said blacks cannot afford to not not negotiate with those who are in power. So in his mind, you got to negotiate with him because he's in power. I'm like, nigga, why wouldn't you so close to election just work to get him out of power? Like, work to get him out of power. This $500 billion <laughs> platinum plan, it's honestly, it sounds like some prepaid rush card. And you yeah, have fine print and the motherfucking oh, it was, 300, it was 300 so, it was so APR obvious. or some shit is going to be on this motherfucker. Listen, bro, this man is not setting aside any fucking money for black people. If he was going to do it, because he already paraded He'd have the been fucking did ministers. It. He paraded uh, goddamn Steve Harvey, Kanye West. He's then had his nigga parade, Q. Don't be the nigga in... Don't hey, be the hey, grand, hey, hey, hey. Don't hey, be the hey, grand hey. float on that parade. Don't be the black ass Santa Claus at the end of this. Hold up, race, hold up, hold up. First off, parades. you know what, Pedro? You're a little out of line with the nigger parade. All right, come on. God damn it, man. And uh, comedian Reggie Williams said, today wasn't a good day for Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> That's Today wasn't a good day. Ugh. Um. The, no, I no. I see what you're saying, but the end of the day is Ice Cube made a mistake. Um, DL checked him hard as fuck, hard as fuck. But end of the day, I think that um the people that are listening to Ice Cube and to follow Ice Cube, and plus they said he lost a lot of people. Uh, a lot of his his songs were taken off of playlists because of it. Um, because there was he the way he reacted to it, and you saw what he said. Somebody gonna win. Motherfucker, now you just like the other people that genius. get on my nerves with that flip floppy bullshit. It's like, yeah, genius. Brilliant. I mean, it's like dummy dumb shit. Come on, bro. You smarter than that. I mean, I'm not going to say the best script in the world was Fridays, but you did write it, bro. I mean, you did you did write some really great fucking hip hop songs that was West Coast all day. But motherfucker, I, in fact, I got... About seven people, I went on his page and I sent a message. I mean, I commented, and seven people from his page just came at me hard. Then I came back at them hard. Then I hit them with some fucking rationale like, do you know that Trump doesn't pay half the people that did construction for him for the Trump fucking uh, casino? Towers, for the yeah. Trump uh, for the Trump hotels? Properties, he yeah. fucking stiffed. He stiffed the fucking workers after they made the shit. So you really think... Ice Cube, this motherfucker gonna give you the money. Ice Cube, what happened? What happened? What happened? AJ Fit three sixty five said, "End of the day, it still looked like someone ate a Hershey's bar and sneezed in Cube's face." <laughs> just, <laughs> what the? What is wrong got, with y'all? Just got Hershey splatters all over his fucking grill. Um, you know, listen again. I'm gonna I'm gonna reiterate. Cube said some real things yesterday, right? Like, or in that video clip where it's like, no. Neither party has done a goddamn thing for us. In well, reality. to a point, man. To I mean, a point. I mean not, 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 you know, listen, we're, we're still we're still dealing with bullets in the back as opposed to lashes. From the oh, yeah. Police brutality. Uh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. There, 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 there's too much inequality going on to be like Democrats have done a lot for us. No, they have not. Their attempts to clean up crime in our neighborhoods was to lock all of us up disproportionately. <laughs> That's to stop the crime if they're all in jail. So I get it. And, you know, even listening to Sean King, you know, he was like, you got to understand there's, 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 there's going to be some space where that black people are going to need to to get over Joe Biden's past, right? To, like, try and work through that. Because it, it isn't pretty with regards to us and, and crime um, reform and stuff like that. So I, 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 I'll, give, I'll give that space and, and admit, I get it. Um, right. But... You know, when somebody like Ice Cube, who does have people listening to him and does have influence, well, uh, millions of people, kinda, millions and millions here, of people, yeah, kind of haphazardly pondering, um, you know, things like between these two candidates of all candidates, it's like uh, there is, yeah, on, like come on, bro, like this, this ain't the like if you really think you're about to be able to work with Donald Trump on lifting up Black America. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm going to put that for Ice Cube that you must be in a truly desperate situation. Like, you must feel totally hopeless and lost in, in, in your quest to, to uplift black people. Because if, if you're seeing this as a legitimate source that could lead to anything, 
I'm sorry, brother. That that that's right. A if you're gonna, that's if, a if you're gonna, your vision. right. If you're gonna turn, if you're that lost, and you turn to David Duke for some kind of racial sensitivity, help me, help me please. Then, I mean, what I probably, hey, hey, look in here, Compton's most wanted, the nigger you love to hate. Which I do love. I do hate you. I, you need me to write that song. You need me to write that song because I do hate you. Okay. And you say fuck the police. I say fuck you. Okay. First off, let's go there. I mean, it's just like dummy dumb shit. And by the way, comedian Reggie Williams said Ice Cube on Roland Martin uh, uh, today, and Roland lit him up. I mean, there's a lot of people lighting him up. And there's a couple of things he said after that, after the video that we saw there, that he tried to, you know, say something back after that, made himself look even more like lost. So if anything, I thought he looked more lost. And I see what some of the people are saying, and Ben Yusuf is saying, and. And I mean, I, I, I listen the Dems, to you, Ben. The Dems, Dems didn't. The Dems didn't shut him down, Ben. You, Joseph. They, they said after the election, which is like when they would expect to be in power, um, which would make more sense for as a time to talk. Like Ice Cube said himself, you got to negotiate with who's in power. So, would, wouldn't you want to talk to the Democrats after, after the election? That, that yeah, would be a but time. It seemed like it'd be a more fruitful time to talk to them if they win. When, when when they take over power, I, I'm just saying. So right. I, I, and and also, I didn't read that as him getting shut down. They said after. The right, election. and also saying basically telling him to shut up and dribble. I don't think so. I think this was not a situation like that because Ice Cube put himself in that position. I know he reached out to the Democrats. He reached out to the, the Republicans. He did it on both sides. But and I hate to use the word on both sides because it makes me harken back to the motherfucker. And I use the word harken, which a nigga usually don't use. I usually don't. Come um, out. harken. You know, pine. I don't use like I pine for things. I don't use that. But I've been watching too much news, and I use the word "harken." So y'all ever hear me say that again? Smack me across my face. Um, I'm telling you right now. End of the day. No, I'm saying end of this day. Um, wow, they Roland Martin is a very supple nigga. Goddamn Eve. Um, end of the day, we know that Ice Cube probably was coming from a good space to a point, but just lost and a, and a little bit. Cause I still like, I still I'm like a lot of the stance that I do says, and I do like, I do like his music. I'm sorry. I do like his music. I, I, um, Oh, this mm -hmm. somebody called, somebody called, hold on. Uh, jump off, jump back on them. Well, no, we'll, no, we'll close gonna, it out. Let, let's just, let, yeah, let's just close it out from here. If that's cool. Okay. Cause I got to jump in. Let, pe let people know, cause they can hear you. I just can't hear you. Let people know about where they can uh, check us out on you, on the on the um, podcast. Uh, wherever you get your podcast, so all of them places, you know what it is. You know the list at this point. We know what it is. Most importantly, too, we want you to uh, follow us on YouTube, okay? And tell friends about it. Share that shit. Put it out there. Spread the word, okay? Uh, Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. That's what you want to look up. That's where it is. Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Follow comedian Shang always. And follow at Black Pedro. And make sure that you check us out tomorrow. We're going to be on actually early. We'll be on 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you tell your friends about it. We appreciate all y'all jumping on. We rocking it out tonight on something somewhere tonight. We can't really, well, I guess talk about it. But we're doing a show tonight. And if you get a chance, so you can go to Pedro's page. I also posted it on all my social media for the information. Inbox Pedro, and he'll tell you where, where you can go. So those people, we'll see you tonight. And we will see you tomorrow. Sab JF, you know what it is. Karate hands. Karate. See it? Shop. Karate hands. Judo shop. Tomorrow. Peace. Boom. Out.